Warning, sensitive images. The vision is the earth will, this is exactly what they told me, the earth will be swollen and then will bust. And these are hot substances, hot uh, magma, lava from the earth will flow out and kill everyone, whoever is nearby. will kill a lot of people. I don't know how long the Earth's surface, the Earth's crust, can hold it. Not just that, and, and climate change, or the thawing of the permafrost, and making gas come out, and etc., etc., and then uh, the magnetic fields are kind of damaged. And they say there will be more disasters coming. And also, other things from the sky will fall down. And, uh, the Earth will be, I don't know if the Earth will even exist. Not to talk about humans. Because of karmic consequences. That's what the collective karma produces. We are the ones who make all this trouble. War and famine. We spend money on killing instead of healing. We kill humans and we kill animals, people without blinking our eyes even. I just hope the world will get better and everybody has peace and love. That's all. The solution is as simple as the fingers on my hand. Be vegan, my peace. Supreme Master Ching Hai's plea for world vegan, world peace. For decades, Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, has illuminated our world with her divine teachings. A fully enlightened master, she imparts the Kuan Yin method of meditation to those desiring to immediately discover the God nature within to achieve in one lifetime eternal liberation from the cycle of transmigration. An extraordinary living example of compassion, she lovingly and regularly sends material and financial assistance to refugees, the homeless, natural disaster victims, and others needing relief. Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, receives love and recognition from various organizations, media, governments, individuals, and many awards, such as the 2006 Gusi Peace Prize, considered the Nobel Peace Prize of the East, the World Spiritual Leadership Award in 1994, the Mahavir Award in 2008, February 22nd and October 25th, both proclaimed as the Supreme Master Ching Hai Day an honorary citizen of the United States, etc., and has been honored throughout the years with numerous other awards and accolades for her outstanding philanthropic and humanitarian deeds. Etc. We apologize for not being able to show many other awards and honors for lack of space and time. Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, respectfully thank all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. A true voice for our beautiful animal friends, Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, promotes the peaceful, loving plant-based diet and envisions with humanity's awakening to the sacredness of all life. A tranquil and glorious all-vegan world where people of both animal and human kingdoms live in respectful harmony. Her initiatives included alternative living flyer distribution, the international vegan restaurants Loving Hut, vegan food companies, vegan fur products, Supreme Master Television, as well as writing and speaking to influential government and media leaders, participating in televised conferences on climate change, etc. Whether we're aware of it or not, 
Her efforts have had an enormous influence on global awareness of the animal people friendly lifestyle and how this benevolent way can bring lasting peace among nations while saving our planet from climate change and disasters. In recent years, Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, has been emphasizing the inevitable consequences if humanity doesn't U-turn and adopt a more compassionate and noble way of living, namely the vegan lifestyle. Revelations about future world events. Last time we were talking about 2027, when the vision of one person show the whole world to be empty everywhere of humanity and animal people and any activities. Remember that? Yes, yes Master. Master. Okay, so this phenomena, this event, this negative event, this horrific event will start in November 2027 onward, all the way until November 2031. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. I wrote here that will wipe out humanity. Wow. Oh, God. So the world people will die 72%. Oh, oh, my God. God. oh my God. I continue reading. Zealous demons and all special demons are forced by karma to kill world people. I wrote what they told me, okay? All this is in quotation marks because it's not my talk. It continues. 2027 starting and until four years after, till 2031, November. This four year period is for wiping out all humanity and of course, animal people as well. I didn't have time to go into so much detail all these things already very badly affected my heart. I said, how come? Even if we have like an atom bomb or anything that goes off, how come everyone dies like that? So they told me the zealous demons and other demons will suffocate people with weapons of karmic poison. So they will just disappear. I wanted to find out what it means by weapons of karmic poison to suffocate people. They didn't answer me directly, but the vision is the earth will, this is exactly what they told me, the earth will be swollen and then will bust. And these are hot substances, hot uh, magma, lava from the earth will flow out and kill everyone, whoever is nearby. will kill a lot of people. Because they didn't answer me, but I guess that is a weapon of karmic poison. And also, other things from the sky will fall down. And, uh, the earth will be, I don't know if the earth will even exist. Not to talk about humans. The inside of the earth is very hot. And maybe because of karmic consequences, it will come nearer to the crust of the earth, nearer to the surface, and then it will just explode like that. And recently, scientists have discovered that the hot substance or lava from inside the earth have come nearer to the earth's crust, about 100 miles away only. Wow. wow. And this is too near. I don't know how long the Earth's surface, the Earth's crust, can hold it. Not just that, and, and climate change or the thawing of the permafrost and methane gas come out, etc., etc., and then uh, the magnetic fields are kind of damaged. And they say there will be more disasters coming. This is all what's supposed to happen if we fail to negotiate or exchange something. Because the karma is too big. Thus, we always will have war, famine, pandemics, and all that. Nowadays, it seems like more than ever before, we have different infections, and the pandemic keeps getting more and more little. And not only that, there are many different diseases. 
all over the world nowadays that still baffles scientists and medical research people. And there are earthquakes and storms everywhere. We had an earthquake in Turkey and Syria that killed more than 46,000 people already, and still many are missing. And even New Zealand also had an earthquake as well. So it will not stop there. And the core of the planet just stopped spinning. The magnetic field has been damaged. The sun is flaring. And one meteorite just hit the earth somewhere in Texas. And so many other diseases. Before, the bird flu did not affect humans too much. Nowadays, it affects humans more, more than ever before. They are making war with the humans that raise the chicken people for food. There are many, many other things you can see on the internet that everywhere is like a killing field nowadays, our world, everywhere. Killing children also, elderly and even healthy people. Now, everywhere we have been trouble with water. Just some lucky areas don't have trouble. But the earth is drying up already. I guess it's not just climate change. The earth's heating system is coming out nearer, nearer to the surface. And maybe something is already broken under, underneath the earth's crust. So the water from the rivers and the lakes also runs down into this uh, molten rock, so metal, uh, 10,000 degrees Celsius heat, and then it will be nothing, you know? The water goes down there and becomes just nothing. Scientists discover recently that the Earth's molten rock, so metal, it come nearer and nearer to the Earth's crust. They just discover that, maybe in just one place, but they cannot discover every place. And maybe in some other place, it's already too near to our surface. You hear the, the urgency of the situation, yeah? Yes, yes master. Yes. So that's why I thought I have to tell people this, even though I hesitated for a long, long time. But I want them to know, even if they don't believe me, at least they know it. And they can choose to be prepared to repent or not. So that as many can be saved as possible. But my heart is so much in pain. I don't know how to win this situation because we must have human cooperation as well to be stronger in order to defeat all these negative forces. They are everywhere now. They are seducing humans, they are contaminating humans, and they are poisoning humans' brains, minds, and bodies. That's why you can see all kind of disasters coming almost together. But it will get worse even. They will come more together at the same time. All kind of disasters, diseases and all that. It's just beginning only. And even the moon is getting further and further away from us. The moon was in a favorable position for our planet. If the moon wasn't, in that favorable fixed place, then we wouldn't exist as a planet. And it wouldn't be so favorable and abundant like the way we have. Mm -hmm. 
and now the moon is moving further and further away. So who knows what might happen? The cosmos is balance will be disturbed, hmm. and then God knows where we're going. It's not just worrisome; it could say fatal, fatal to us, to our lives. That's what the collective karma produces. We are the ones who make all this trouble, war and famine. We spend money on killing instead of healing. We kill humans and we kill animals, people without blinking our eyes. Even the heavens think humans are mad, not worthy to be rescued, not worthy to be taught anything anymore because they don't listen. Humans don't listen to wisdom. They don't listen to righteousness or good teaching. They just do what they want and badly influence each other to do the same bad stuff. And in order to win this karmic war, we need also humans' cooperation so that heaven and earth are united. Then we'll be stronger to be able to make peace, to create harmony. And safety for all humans and all other non-human people on this planet, united with them, because this is about the world, Earthlings, and the animal people who live here. The animal people cooperate with us, but humans, not completely. Oh, please pray, whoever can, please. We need all humanity to stand up, to back us in this troubled time. The soul will not die ever. It's just the human souls or animal people souls are still trapped in many layers of so-called bodies. So even if the physical bodies are gone, the astral bodies are still there and will still be punished in hell, or oh, horribly. You cannot imagine the punishment there. Whoever has to go to hell. But uh, oh God, la! But they don't know it. That is a problem. Oh, they are so blind, so blindfolded. They don't know heavens. They don't know hell, and they just do anything, thinking there's no consequences. And my heart cannot continue. <laughs> because, because if humanity is wiped out en masse, at the same time, it's very difficult to help the soul. <laughs> It's say that you, they will be wiped out. You know, it's the words of heaven, not mine. Wiped out. Seventy-two percent. My God, people will suffer no end in hell. My God, the situation is just like when doctors and nurses want to help the patient, but the patient. Doesn't do anything that he is supposed to do in order to get well. The patient has to also cooperate with the medical personnel in order to get well. He has to take the prescribed medicine. Has to trust the doctors. Has to be willing to cooperate to fight with the doctors in order to defeat the disease which is ravaging his body. Uh, we don't have that much cooperation from the world people. The animal people cannot do much, you know, but the world people can. They are given all the capabilities, intelligence, and tools to make peace between themselves and with the co-inhabitant animal people. But they are just not doing it. They are not doing it. Some, but the percentage is so low. 
Just take the medicine. Just be vegan. My God. It's not even about God or spirituality. It's scientifically proven that going vegan will save you, save your lives, save your loved ones, and save your planet. Please just go vegan. Be repentant. Make peace and <laughs> do good deeds. My God, anything you eat, any vegetable, anything from the vegetable kingdom, even one single thing, is enough to sustain you. A lot of nutrition, all the vegetables carry enough nutrition for you to live comfortably, healthily, and intelligently. Then there will not be the need for any medicine. Humans are damaging their DNA and making themselves weaker and weaker, and less and less resistant to the attack in the air. The solution is as simple as the fingers on my hand. Be vegan, my peace. Because as you saw, Sasha, you read, if you do good things, you get good results. If you make peace, you will have peace. If you be good to others, good things will come to you. It's very simple logic. Like attracts like. But how come humans don't understand all this? And they're harming themselves, they're poisoning themselves. They're really, really destroying life on this beautiful planet. I just hope the world will get better and everybody has peace and love. That's all. I'm still thinking of a way, but I'm not sure what. I will do anything, you know that, even if it damages or ruins my body or my reputation, anything I'll do, but it's teamwork between myself, the heaven, and the earthling people. So, I hope the heaven will be lenient. I mean, good heaven, highest heaven, to give us more leniency, or at least give me some solution, no matter what I'll do. And the thing is, I'm still having hope. I'm praying that I can keep that hope alive. But you see, even if heaven allows me to have a solution to save the world, I need, I truly need humans' cooperation. They have to be vegan. They have to make peace. They can't continue to make war and then expect peace. As we saw the show we read, you cannot just make war and expect peace. Even if I have a solution, humans have to give me assistance, help, and cooperation. Otherwise, it might not work. And the world people still continue to kill animal people and torture them in such a oh, devilish way. Just since you tuned in, 9,200 cattle have been killed on the planet. Every second, nine more are added. In the same amount of time, 19,400 turkeys, 33,300 sheep and goats, 42,200 pigs, 105,000 ducks, and 2.3 million chickens have been slaughtered, all in the last 16 minutes and 41 seconds. If we stacked on top of one another all the animals we kill and eat in a year, we would reach the moon and back 40 times. Fish die in such large numbers that we only measure them in tons. It's one of the biggest, if not the biggest, moral problem of our time. Nine out of 10 people in Europe eat meat. This problem has in itself the solution to many other problems. To satisfy the world's appetite for meat, we have created a gigantic global industry. We kill and eat more animals in a year than the number of human beings who have ever lived on the planet from whenever we crawled out of the swamps. With devastating consequences for the Earth's ecosystem and for billions of living beings.
so how will they get permanent peace and nothing happiness on earth? We all brought it upon ourselves, so whom can we blame? God turned away from us because our sin is so overwhelmingly shaking heavens and earth, even destroy the stability of the universe to some extent. That's why if heaven lets us live, the universe will be in trouble as well because of the collective energy, like a car, even just one little hole in one wheel, the car will not function. So like our world right now, we are driving with even almost all the wheels kaput and we keep driving, then you will have an accident, you will die. And your car will also be kaput, upturned, side turned, and then will harm others' cars on the street as well. So that's why what happens to us also affects the universe. We could repair them. We just stop and replace the wheels. Just right now, if humans stop killing animal people to eat as so-called food and eat some other foods, then the planet will be healed, will be whole, will be abundant and beautiful, paradise-like. Humans killing karma brings pandemics. Uh, Most mainstream media have reported that the COVID-19 virus likely came from the wet markets. Why aren't more people making the connection between the virus outbreak, the wet market, and eating meat? Because it seems like a logical conclusion to make. It is the energy, this angry energy, this unbenevolent energy in the world because of the karma that we made. And the heaven also feels very, very furious over our treatment to each other and the lesser beings, you know, like animals. People. The lesser, but doesn't mean they are less. They are more intelligent. Animals, people, have a position in the world, in the universe, in the eyes of God, and we treat them like dirt, more than dirt. It's not just about the killing, only terminating their life and uh, torturing due to some uh, misbelief, like uh, have to eat the flesh without the blood. It's not like that. When it mentions blood, it means don't eat anything with blood. Meaning mean they're alive, we have life. It's like nowadays we have a saying, say, don't eat anything that has a face. Some people say that. Some vegan people advise like that. So the other people, we understand, you know, it has a face. That means it has a life. It has a soul in it. The following is Supreme Master Ching Hai's revelation about the nature of the COVID-19 virus as an entity. These beings, the entity, they are created because of the hatred of the pain of the suffering that humans inflicted on some souls which are in the animal people. These animal people cannot get rid of the hatred, sorrow and pain. Then this uh, hatred energy clings to their souls. And this essence of hatred and all that gets more power, more reinforced. And then they become these special entities, the sorrow the pain and the wrongful death, agonizing death. All this exudes a kind of energy that nobody can control. And if it forever continues piling, piling up, continues building up, then it becomes a special force no one can defeat, except those who are virtuous. They cannot defeat them. The virus just avoids them. They are protected. But others who are so wicked, life after life and don't do anything good and just continue doing bad things or eating animal people. And of course they attract that kind of hatred energy to them. And that's how they get COVID. That's how the COVID army is allowed to. Because it's the same energy, easy to get in. Almost the same. They can't fight against it. They have nothing, no protection. Only a little virtues or nothing. Or maybe it's their time to die also. And they use this occasion to die, but die in pain. But that already is the most lenient compared to the animal people's agonies. It just needs some physical elements in order to exercise out this uh, vengeance and hatred. Otherwise, they exist, this energy already. So the soul and the energy just need this virus uh, manifesto in the physical, even though we don't see it, to do the job, to have it to clutch onto, because it's nothing physical. It's not so easy to clutch onto a human's body to do harm, because the human body is physical, so the virus has to be physical.
I tell you a secret. Uh, just one moment. I ask if I can. Okay. Yeah. I have permission. The other day, uh, I asked the chief of all the COVID. I said, uh, will you also punish me if I go out, for example, and will you make me become infected as well, like everyone else? He said, no. No, we won't do that. He told me, because you don't put meat in your mouth. Um. Oh. I said, I love the animal people. I don't want to eat them. He said, see, that's why. I pressed further, and this is the secret. So I asked him, I pressed further, I said, suppose I go out, and I'm not in my own place, I cannot cook for myself, I cannot choose what I eat, and maybe I eat in a restaurant, and if I eat meat accidentally, if I didn't know, and I might eat it, then I would be infected and sick as well, right? At that time, you cannot say that I didn't put meat in my mouth. Will you also make me infected? He said, no. I say, why? Why? If I even accidentally eat it, I still eat meat, no? He said, no, no, because you don't do it on purpose, because you are benevolent. That's the word he said. So the secret is don't put meat in your mouth and be benevolent. Wow. Well, if you are vegan, that is benevolent already. But if you have more love, you know, true love also. But being vegan, you will have love. People will just develop love automatically because you go in the right direction and things will happen in that direction, opposite to the way you went before. So it's just automatic. Humans killing karma brings war. War can just break out any time according to the karma of humanity. Because if you continue killing animal people, then there will be always continuous war. If not here, then there. It doesn't have to hit the country that eats the most meat. It's not necessarily like that. It just hits anywhere. I would really love to tell people, to tell all the government in the world, please, no more weapons and save all the money to help the poor, to have better schools, better streets, better bridges, better nutrition for people. It's, it's a pity, though. We spend so much money for for destruction instead of construction. The heavens and the positive force are still fighting to help humankind in any way they can, to save as many lives as possible, human and animal beings and other beings on this planet. But it could be that we will fail. It could be. The karma is so huge, and they're making more and more karma nowadays. With war, with threatening, and with spending all the precious money of the taxpayers to make weapons. I mean, mass destructive weapons could even cover the whole of Europe or the whole of America. Such things cause huge, 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 immense karma that it's very, very difficult and almost impossible to erase if it happens. And even just to think about these weapons, to want to destroy humanity with these kinds of weapons, it's already created tremendous karma. I feel the most sorrowful thing is that this world could have been a paradise. It's truly like that. Because we have an abundance of everything, ample food and natural resources. It's just we develop in the wrong way. Veganism, the one for all solution. The solution is veganism. If we stop killing other beings, peace will last forever. If we grant peace to other beings, we will have peace. That's the law of cause and effect. In fact, it's very easy. Just no more animal people industry. No more. When there's no meat, then no heat, no buying. So simple. And whatever already there, left over, throw away. And people can have many more new jobs and people will have more employment. And the whole country will become more bright, more happy, and more blessed. They will feel it. Help the planet. Rescue the animal people. Save our world. Be a hero. Use all your power within. From your faith, from your master, from your God. Use all this to call upon a change. 
call upon for a change, call upon all this power for a change in our world, to make it a vegan world. Because vegan lifestyles will bring all other benefits to your life, to all lives. Now, you probably ask me what to do with the existing animal people. Just sterilize them so that they don't bear any more, more children, unless you just want a few to be your pets. Yeah, because they bring also methane, gas into the air. And that is accelerating our uh, heat for the planet. And that's uh, what will destroy us. One of the, the factors that is imminent. Imminent danger for us. So we just sterilize those animal people in factories and let them live free. Hmm? In freedom, in dignity. In love until the Lord call them back to heaven. And they surely go to heaven. I'm telling you that. But I can't say the same about all humans. Hell awaits. Hell awaits many of them. I took the five precepts. The first, you shall not kill. Second, you shall not tell lie. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not... Uh, Still, and you shall not, uh, you shall not harm others. Is the most important. That's why we are vegan. I am vegan, so you should be too. Okay. And the other is not to tell lies. Always tell the truth. So I will tell you only the truth, even at my risk, at my own uh, cost of something. <laughs> I enjoy helping you to help yourself. I enjoy to awaken you, to show you the truth, to tell you all these terrible things that you don't know, that affect your lives and your children's lives. But in a way, I lose a lot while talking to you. I lose my spiritual merit in store, but for the love of humankind, for the love of these suffering, innocent, helpless animal people, I do anything. So do not feel for the moment thinking I'm trying to preach to you. I'm trying to show you my love. That's all there is. The master power, heaven power can help to keep the planet afloat for some time, to buy time for us. But we have to take action now. All the governments in the world must take action or else we'll be all gone. And even if the planet will not be gone, it will be like a burning inferno. This vegan law is the most effective way to save our world. Because you know well, by now, by UN warning, by scientific research report, we know that the meat, fish, eggs, milk, laboratory tests on animal people, leather industry, anything to do with hurting animal people, domestic or wild, are detrimental to our world. We talk about all kinds of climate reduction or reducing air pollution, but animal people, racing, fish, egg, milk industry, etc., anything to do with animal people, are the worst producers of lethal methane gas, which heats up our planet. So, stopping these brutal, murderous businesses is the fastest way to cool our earth. That's the right thing, and that's all you have to do. Everything else will fall into place. It will be all benevolence, merciful, compassion, happiness, all over our planet, if you do that. Please, just do it. Vegan law and vegan lifestyle. Thank you. This is a special situation, and it needs special measures, even desperate measures. The government can ban the meat, indoor, outdoor, or in the restaurant. The government can let the public know about the beneficial effect that we can have by having a vegan diet. They have to publicize it everywhere. Remember, a long, long time ago, many decades ago, 1980-something, during uh, President Reagan, bless him, during his time, yes, many countries, all countries got together, united, to pass the law 
in Montreal, you know. They call it the Montreal Protocol to ban the use of uh, harmful gases globally, like uh, aerosol in hairspray, etc. Yeah, to reduce the harmful effect of the chemical that damage our ozone layer, which will save uh, millions of, of lives, save almost half a billion skin cancer cases in a short time frame. So all the leaders just have to sit together and sign it. Meat ban, fish ban, all animal people, products ban. Very simple, they can do it. Every drop counts in the ocean. Every drop makes the ocean. So please, save the world with me. Help the animals who are suffering. Please do help, okay? Help in any way you can by showing them the benefit of the vegan diet. Then we can change. Nothing is fixed in destiny. We have to take faith into our own hands and change it. That's why God gives us free will so we can exercise it. I can only tell people that whenever God gives us a chance to see the better due to His mercy, then we have to know that it's short-lived. Just ask God to forgive you. As I keep saying to you all the time, be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, or at least just be vegan. Just ask God to forgive you. Ask God to forgive you in any way. Save yourself from hell. Please, just ask God sincerely, humbly, honestly, ask God to please forgive me. Just ask God to forgive you. Please, do that with sincerity, with utmost repentance, with utmost sincerity, utmost humility. Then maybe God forgives you, gives you another chance, so you don't have to go to hell, please. I cannot help you because you don't let me. So please remember that. Ask God to forgive you. God always can forgive, but you have to be truly humble, sincere, honest, and truly, truly repent in your heart. Join World Vegan Prayer with Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan. Our time is short now. Our world is in truly imminent emergency. There are a few ticking bombs, no need for even climate change. Heaven is angry, earth is angry, nature is angry. Waiting for us to return to our original loving, kind nature as God intended us to have, to save others, ourselves and our family. All this angry, anguish energy is all aiming at us. Compared to this, the atom bomb is like a child's toy. Be a hero, change our way of life. Be a hero, help the planet, rescue the animals, save our world. We are praying together. Even if you can't be vegan now, just pray to be soon. Pray for World Vegan. Please join us every day from 9 to 10 p.m. Hong Kong time to pray or and meditate for World Vegan. Thus, we will also have lasting world peace. May heavens bless you multifold. Thank you so much. This documentary can be downloaded for free at worldveganworldpeace.com. For more information and free downloads, please visit suprememastertv.com, edenrules.com, and godsdirectcontact.org. All information concerning the scientific evidence of climate change and its solution is in Supreme Master Ching Hai's book, from Crisis to Peace. Free for download at crisistopeace.org.